It's September 20th, and we got a heavy frost here last night in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania at the Back to Eden Garden. A heavy frost means you got to get the sweet potatoes out. Now, it's only September, so I usually use, leave them in until October, but this frost just really threw everything off, so we're going to get them out today. And this is what they look like when they've been frozen. It's pretty easy to tell. Those leaves, they just, they don't like it. The sweet potatoes don't do well. Things like the beans, they did okay. They'll, they'll survive this frost, and uh, Swiss chard will come back and be all right. But the sweet potatoes are not good. Now, people have asked me about what does it mean when I say I roll up the vines when I harvest the sweet potatoes? Well, how about I show you? This is, uh, this is what I do. Okay. Now, you just keep pulling those vines back, and they will, they will root themselves. They'll begin to root themselves in the soil like this. You can see these little roots. The tar is starting to take root in the soil, in the wood chips. There usually are no uh, sweet potatoes under there. Look at the mushrooms coming up. That's tremendous. So you'll, you'll know when there are sweet potatoes because you'll find a main stem. Now there's a little bit of a, uh, one that took root and, uh, and grew. But I just keep rolling back. Just keep rolling back. There's another mushroom. Uh, just keep rolling back until you come to your sweet potato plants where you put the put the plants in. And there's usually quite a lot of vine until you get there because they really take off and they grow like crazy. Let's see if we can find one here. I like to be uniform about how I push these back and roll them back as well. It's the vines out of, okay, here we go. I usually just pull on that, and oftentimes they'll just come right out. Just move the stuff away, and wiggle them a little bit, and out come the potatoes. And search around. This I just like to search around with my hands. I don't like to use a shovel or a fork because that just breaks them up. Now these are little ones, but they'll get bigger. There's some more here. Another plant. And again, these are some pretty small ones, but oftentimes we get them, pull the sweet potatoes out and they're, they're as, as big as your head. They're five or six pound sweet potatoes which is really quite remarkable. Those are, those are pretty much a whole meal in themselves. So what I'll do is I'll just keep rolling this back, rolling and rolling, and uh, it rolls pretty easy, but you have to work back and forth. You can't just start at one corner and, and roll it. You have to keep the whole thing rolling. And uh, then when it's done, and you've harvested all your sweet potatoes. You see, you, sometimes what it, you can do is just kind of unroll it, just let it compost. Uh, sometimes what you could do is just take a lawnmower and just start chopping it up with a lawnmower. I have a, a, a small uh, uh, chipper shredder that I put these vines through and just uh, throw it back on the garden for compost. Well, here's a good, a good mound right here. And just pull these right out. Now that's a, that can be pretty typical right there. There's a nice potato. And then they're all still connected to the plant. And this is what you can expect to find. And sometimes these little guys, we like to just cut those up, put them in soup. They're small, but they're pretty good. And just search around in there for some more. There's one, just gently pull it out. Yeah, you know, we have a we have a wood stove. We heat the, the house primarily with firewood. And on days when we don't have to have a raging fire, we like to um, wrap the sweet potatoes in aluminum foil 
and put them on the coals in the wood stove. And uh, about 45 minutes later, out come these really delicious, sweet, sweet potatoes. And we didn't have to heat the oven up. We didn't have to use the gas and, and uh, just make use of the wood stove that's already there. So I will go through and harvest the rest of these sweet potatoes. And uh, this will be it for the sweet potatoes this year. Each one of the white ones, nice big ones here. This will this will feed our family of three with with the rest of the meal. And we have a mixture of Beauregard yams, they call sweet potatoes, the uh, red skin sweet potatoes from uh, Paul, uh, Mr. Miller, Wayne Miller, the white sweet potatoes, the white skin. These are, are both white on the inside and the Beauregard are orange on the inside. But last night I came and harvested a bunch of the butternut squash and I was about ready to leave and I turned around and looked back and I said, well, Garden, you blessed us again this year. So I just spoke a blessing over the garden for next year and really felt like the Lord just uh, just wanted to make that declaration to bless this garden for next year. And uh, his purpose for it, we'll find out. Uh, but at the very least, we'll have produce. I'm sure of that. So because of the frost last night, I had to go ahead and pull everything else out of the garden. So here's the harvest. This is the, the uh, pumpkins for pumpkin pies and our butternut squash and uh, various squashes here. And what I did want to say to you regarding the harvesting of the uh, sweet potatoes is it's very, very important that you not stir up, till up, turn over the soil when you're harvesting the sweet potatoes. You know, oftentimes when you do that traditional ways, they just run a, a plow through or take a shovel or a fork and then just turn the ground over. Well, you don't really want to do that because what you're doing is you're then taking your soil, putting it on top and putting your wood chips on the bottom. And that defeats your covering and it, and it uh, causes a nitrogen deficiency in your soil and exposes the soil to grow weeds and receive seeds and that sort of thing. So it's not hard. Your fingers may suffer, but you want to put some gloves on, that'll help a lot. And you can just run your hands underneath the wood chips. If you're running about four inches of wood chips, more or less, you can run your hands under those wood chips and you can feel the sweet potatoes underneath there. When you feel them, you can just grab them and, and pull them out like a torpedo out of a chute. You don't want to twist them too much. You don't want to bend them because they'll break off. But if you just wiggle them, and pull them out they'll come right out for the uh, most cases and uh, you know we got some good good sweet potatoes this year they're going to store well and um, it's it's also really important at this stage to cure them and for curing sweet potatoes you want a high humidity and high temperature 80 90 degrees and run about 90 percent humidity a little higher if you can uh, for about uh, a week to two weeks. I have uh, a place under my my basement stairs that I have set up where I put a little humidifier and I put a little heater and I'll run 10 days of humidity and heat in that area. And what it does is it seals off the sweet potatoes and it, it seals the skins and it helps to heal the scars that might be on them from transport. You don't want to wash the dirt off them. That's really important as well. Do that when you're getting ready to cook them and eat them. Uh, just take them out of the ground, be gentle with them, try not to uh, damage the skins, and uh, put them in storage. And, and if you store them in a, in a cool, dry place, they're gonna last you all winter long. And uh, next spring, you're ready to grow some more sweet potatoes. So we had a great harvest this year, and uh, look forward to next year. Time to move stuff. Okay. Oh boy. I'll let you take the heavy thing. Okay. I'll just I'll just get this. Okay. Yeah. You you go ahead and try. I got it. <laughs>
I just, I think I'm gonna let you do it, just for, because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Why, is that too heavy? No, no, no. Um, yeah, okay. Look, it's like a child. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, this is the kid that, when we started the garden, <laughs> she just really hated going to the garden. I did. You know why? Because there were bugs in the garden. Yeah. Bugs are her like and least dirt. favorite thing. And what? And dirt. I and didn't dirt. like dirt. Still yeah. don't really like dirt, but that's okay. It's good. <laughs> and uh, I, I actually would like to, to put a little segment of when I was out this spring putting peppers in in the front. And uh, this kiddo was, she started to film me and I, I didn't know it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll get a kick out of it anyway. Uh. Thanks.